You're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. You're in for a rare treat. Today, we're with owner Stephen Stennis of Strictly Reef, and I don't even know where to begin. What you do is so beautiful. Tell us a little bit about Strictly Reef. Uh, Strictly Reef was founded to bring the beauty of living reefs around the world to educate the public and to bring that sense of enjoyment and beauty into one's home or office. Really, you're recreating these thriving ecosystems that exist in the ocean and you're replicating them here in your shop. Yes, so be it the Great Barrier Reef, the Caribbean Reef, Indo-Pacific, Red Sea, Hawaii. Um, whether you've scuba dived or not, um, there's health benefits and we bring living art into your home or office. I cannot wait to show them where this starts. Let's go do that. First thing people are going to notice is this is not painted rock. This is live. And how you accomplish that is fascinating. Yes, we're the only store in the area that does things completely different. Instead of man intervening with sponges and filters and pads and, you know, chemistry set on your kitchen set, you know, table every weekend, um, we use all natural filtration. We do that through a process called a refugium sump, which is live living plants that filter the water chemically. The rock is living. That is your biological filtration. And the greatest misnomer is these are animals. They're not plants. The plants are actually kept below. This is the part I think that's gonna fascinate people. This is your refugium. And what you're recreating here is the real live ecosystem that exists in an ocean that supports this life. Yes, this simulates the Florida and Louisiana estuaries where the water is naturally filtrated. The protein skimmer replicates the Pacific coast where it is infused and removes excess organic waste called proteins. And the corals filter feed from the water it's a sustainable ecosystem in a box. This is so beautiful. There's so much going on here. I don't even know where to begin. Why don't you give us a tour of this aquarium, if you would, everything that's happening? Absolutely. This came from my personal residence. It is a fledgling system. It's about six months old. I typically seed my display tanks. We have everything from zoanthids to invertebrates. We have fish. Corals actually have a symbiotic relationship with algae. That's what gives them their coloration. It also, similar to a plant, photosynthesis. And they do filter feed from the water, be it phytoplankton, zooplankton. It is a healthier environment than what most people have grown accustomed to saltwater. With the sterile, filtrated, Pad sponges, filters that remove all the microfauna and it, it destroys the environment. Everything is healthier and more natural. More natural, it's cleaner, it's brighter, and there's not a pad or sponge in here to make this water crystal clear. Let's start, if you don't mind, with some of the different living life that you have here, if you could walk us through it. So what I do is, be it the novice or a seasoned Aquarius, I keep things simple. I don't use RO, I don't use bottled water, I don't buy the salt water pre-mixed. I use synthetic salt, good quality, tap water. Um, Top off with tap water. Everything I do is as easy as I expect my customers to do. 
No pads, no filters. We don't have to sit here and wash and clean and replace. It keeps the cost down. We do new, used, refurbished equipment to keep the cost down. Um, anything from frags to large show pieces, again, to keep it affordable. I want everyone to enjoy what nature has to offer. It's really soothing to watch. Yes, we use wave makers to create the most natural conditions possible. It's healthier for the coral, the fish. There are sponges that don't require photosynthesis, so they are in caves. They like this one back that here. Orange one, yes. Beautiful. That's a sponge. Yes, and it actually filters the water. Um, so we use nature to actually do what God intended. On top here, there's a couple of things side by side here that I think are just centerpieces for this beautiful tank. Tell me about this. So we have a rose bubble anemone, green base. We have green hairy mushrooms, uh, more frog spawn, hammer, plating corals, uh, branching. As we come across, we have yellow polyps, star polyps, acans, uh, the pulsing zinnia, those flowing. This red one is so beautiful. That is actually a starfish, sometimes called a sea lily. Wow. So not only can it move on these stick-like claw legs, it does use its feathers to capture food from the water column. Now this one is very similar to the first one we looked at, but this has a lot of different colors growing in it, but you've created that. Zoanthids can be mixed with other zoanthids, so can mushrooms, and you can create an endless tapestry collage of color. Most of this stuff cohabitates quite well, even though it's from various regions of the world. Wow, this clam, I can't, it's beautiful. The colors are vivid. And they are sensitive to movement and light. And I mean, I can demonstrate yeah, that. Yeah, let's see that. And I can show you some photosynthesis. But you can see how he will retract. And then there's phosphorescence. So we can actually go into and manipulate the light source. And then there's phosphorescence that you did not see under white light. This is a perfect example right up in the front. I did not see the yellow colors and purple colors in this anemone. And also with your hammers. So that tapestry that you're gonna create requires a variety of different pieces and colors and shapes and styles, and that's what we have going on here, isn't it? Yes, this is a showroom of sorts. And from here, we can choose size, color, texture, various corals from around the world, and we will create the interest that you want in your home or office. Oh, I can tell you right now some of the things that jump out at me are these hammerheads because they're just colorful, magnificent, they're beautiful. And then this sea apple that's lying on its side back here, is that one with its mouth open and feeding? Yes, so that is with the mouth open, that brilliant red. A uh, lot of these are filter feeders and they open up the hammers have not fully opened, um, and they blow up with ocean water and feed from the water column. These are some large pieces and, and somehow look very familiar to the other pieces we were just looking at. Absolutely. We call these show pieces. We deal a lot in show fish and show coral. That is extremely large pieces for instant gratification, large aquariums, or we can then go back to frags, which is smaller pieces of a larger piece, and do nano or micro tanks. And I think that's really going to uh, excite a lot of people, that you don't have to have this huge aquarium to enjoy the reef art that you offer. Let's go take a look. So in a tank this size, we can use a lot smaller pieces of coral, smaller fish, makes it more affordable 
easier to maintain and attainable for anyone. One of the things that I understand makes these live reef tanks even possible today are advances in LED technologies. Tell me about your lighting selections. Yes, I'm an authorized distributor for Kessel LED and I try to use them exclusively. They are completely programmable. Um, they come in pendants or the flat bars depending on the size of the tank. They use dense matrix LED. You can fully submerse these and they still function. They're fan cooled. We can adjust the lighting from 10K to 20,000 Kelvin. I understand that these lights can replicate weather patterns. Yes, they are fully programmable. You can imitate sunrise, sunset effects. Um, the main benefit to these lights is that it gives the coral a natural environment where not only do they survive, but they thrive. I also understand that these lights uh, are designed for the color spectrums specifically needed for these and are energy efficient as well. Oh, absolutely. This replicates a 250 watt metal halide only consumes 90 watts of energy and you get far better color rendering, shimmer effect, um, the corals respond better to it. In the end, you know, they last 10 years longer. There's no bulbs to replace. They're, they're just so far advanced and they're getting better every day. Yeah, the advances in technology, fantastic to bring live art to your living room. Speaking of that, I understand that you're doing a custom install in a home up in Demonte Ranch. Can we go take a look at that? Absolutely, and we're using these lights. Well, let's take a look. Tell me what you've done here. Well, essentially, we have created a living ecosystem in a box. We have started with living live rock, live sand, uh, various simple corals. They're easy fish to get us started, but they all serve a purpose. We have sand sifters, um, squirrel fish, damsels, tangs, butterflies, they all play a, a pivotal role in getting this system to balance. And then underneath this tank, let's take a look at the refugium now that this one's up and running. And this is the support system. I, I'm fascinated by this. I think people are gonna just be overwhelmed when they understand this supports this ocean environment in your house. So we have created within this system a living filtration. Everything has been automated as much as possible. We've got adjustable wave makers, digitally controlled thermostats, auto top-off systems, heaters, the plants, the pump. Everything is digitally controlled and automated. The feeder, the lighting, everything is self-sufficient. So you can go on vacation and not have to uh, you know, worry about your, your system. I'm fascinated because you're saying this is automated right down to uh, an automatic feeder. Yes. And I, I still think this is gonna blow people's mind that have never seen one of these. Tell me how that works, how that supports this life. In and of the plants, various macro algaes, there are shrimp, hermit crabs, snails, um, starfish, copepods, amphipods, all of these not only clean the system, but they filter through the system because there are no sponges and pads to prevent them from entering the tank. That then feeds the fish, feeds the coral, and it becomes a revolving circle. The plants chemically 
just like they do for us, remove the toxins and produce oxygen. I am certain of one thing. There are people right now going, stop, tell me how I can get a hold of them. I want one. How do they do that? Yes, you can find us at Strictly Reef, Reno.com. You can also find us on Facebook. Um, our address is 907 West Moana Lane. That's in the Annex Shopping Center just before Lakeside. Um, phone number 775-351-1848. We do house calls. We, you know, operate 24-7. I know there's casino workers and, you know, life doesn't always revolve around a 9-to-5 schedule. Wow, that's fantastic. That's Steven Stennis, owner of Strictly Reef Reno. I want to personally thank you for allowing us to chronicle you. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. We are back again at one of my favorite stores in northern Nevada, Consigned Furniture with owner Alan Rock. Thank you for letting us come back. Hey, glad to be here, Mitch. This is so exciting. Every time I come in here, I'm amazed <laughs> the diversity of what you carry. I would like to maybe start with some of the eclectic things that people should consider bringing to you to sell. Well, we sell all, like this Maitland Smith rocking horse. Um, piece of art that's you know they're kind of rare and expensive um, but we get pieces like that we get pool tables saunas poker tables shuffle boards anything you can think of you know that they can put in your house hand you knotted have rugs it. hand knotted rugs from all over the country all over the world floor lamps ceiling lamps tons of lamps I'm getting the undercurrent of it is if you're not sure if you're gonna sell something and you're not sure if we would sell it here at Consigned Furniture. Make sure to ask cool. because we'll probably take it. <laughs> well, I saw a Wolverine in here last night. <laughs> That's time. right. It didn't last long. About two days. <laughs> <laughs> and you do taxidermy. And I mean, it's just endless. Uh, indoor f uh, electric and fireplaces and outdoor major barbecues. I, patio furniture. Patio furniture. Who? All kinds of stuff people don't think of. So. Should always come in to look and see what we've got. That brings up an exciting topic, a brand new service here. And I love the fact that you're always about service, customer service. We're gonna to introduce today as an example of that, a new concierge service. Right, we've had a lot of customers ask for us to come out. They've got a whole house of furniture and they wanna get an idea of what they can sell it for. So before we hadn't been able to come out to the house and actually have somebody look at the furniture so we've introduced this concierge service and uh, we've got a guy that knows the furniture inside and out he'll come out to the house he'll look at the furniture he'll do an appraisal he'll do all the contracts all those things right with you at the house before we send the truck to pick it up well and i understand we're going to get to talk to matt a little bit about that that's right well let's do that okay before we jump into this new concierge service i'd like to reflect a little bit on consignment in general and why it's so important that mm -hmm. people don't put their own stuff on the internet. Well, first off, it's way safer. If you are trying to sell it on the internet, you're gonna have random people coming to your house, looking at your items, and they might not even be looking at what you're really selling. They're gonna be looking at other things in your house and they might come back later when they're not trying to buy something and take it from you without you knowing, stealing it from you. And, putting your, you and your family at risk of more dangerous aspects. The risks are insurmountable. As I, I look around here, I can only imagine the number of consigners that you have currently and that game of Russian roulette that they play out on the internet. I mean, mm -hmm. really, it happens. We all hear about it. It's in the news. It's national. It's not just here in our hometown. And even the law enforcement agencies warn you about the risk of selling stuff yourself. Yes, they are. Over the years, a lot of consigners have decided to take that risk out of the game by consigning with you. How many of those have there been? Well, as of right now, since we first started, we're close to about 10,000 consigners. Right now in the store, I'd probably say close to one to 2,000. If you look at that, if it wasn't for this store, one to 2,000 people right now would be at risk of harm. Yeah. What you're talking about is casing a, a place for theft later. The risk is far greater than that. I mean, people get hurt. Uh -huh. They get held at gunpoint. They get shot. 
there's sexual predators out there. I mean, this is a real issue. It really is fundamentally what made your store even exist and grow. Yeah. Several times already. Oh yeah, and here you you minimize those risks. We have security cameras. We have multiple people in the store, so you you have more than one eye looking at your furniture, and it's a little bit more protected as well. Well, you have a retail space. I think there's advantages in the consignment too, off of the safety side of it. There's an advantage for the consignors and the the consumers. Mm -hmm. The consumer doesn't have to go to one to two thousand residences to find the piece they exactly. want. Exactly, <laughs> it's one one location for everything. Yeah, <laughs> and the consignor doesn't have to have uh, fifty or hundred people potentially put them at risk mm -hmm. or their family's safety at risk. Yeah, come to their house. I, just a fantastic thing. Tell us a little bit about this new um, concierge service. The new How does that work? So what we do is normally before we had this, we would just look at pictures online and send our drivers out, hoping that they would know what we can and can't take. Now with the concierge service, we have an individual employee come out to the person's address. They will look at all the items. They will even price the items there when they come there, let them know what we can and can't take. It's a little bit more personal at that point. And then after that, he will set up a time for our drivers just to come out pick the items up and be gone. and makes it a little bit more streamlined and easier for the customer as well. It sounds so easy. I, I love the fact that only one person comes to your house. Somebody who's uh -huh. licensed, bonded, insured, an employee exactly. of a reputable yeah. business <laughs> that knows about the value of your furniture and what you can expect. And that means that before the furniture ever leaves your house, you already have an expectation of what the value is and what's a fair price for it. Exactly, yeah and you can discuss pricing right then and there with the person, make them feel more comfortable about what's coming to the store and actually being sold. I bet that more times than you can count, that when you get to the house, people didn't realize some of the other things that you can also consign for them, like their appliances that many people don't even know yeah. that you have consigned appliance. Yeah, we have that as well. And, and most of the time, like when I set up pickups before, we have maybe one or two items on there, maybe three and the drivers will come back with five or six items because there's other things that they see there or other things the consigner wants to consign at that point as well. That they never considered exactly. that you would be interested in Not selling. Not until we see the items there. I think when they come into the store, it's easier to understand the, the diversity of what you actually do consign is mind-boggling. Oh yeah, you never know what's coming in. It's, it's always something else. I love coming <laughs> here for that reason. That's you the great never part of the know. job. Yeah. And, and there's always beautiful furniture, fairly priced. Well, I understand that you have a consignor that's agreed to allow us to come out and see how this concierge service works? You're absolutely correct. We do have someone who has been more than happy to invite you out to their home, and you'll be meeting one of our concierges. His name's Dave, and you'll get to see the whole process happen at a house and see how it actually works. Well, I'm excited not only to see that, but to share that with our viewers. I am too. It's going to be great. Let's do it. Hi. Hi, Jim. I'm Dave with Consign Furniture. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Going to take a look at your stuff today and talk to you a little bit about it. So if you want to, is it inside the house? It's in or? the garage. Uh, why don't I meet you in front? I'll Absolutely. open the garage door. Perfect. We'll meet you there. Great. Thanks. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we've got a pub table with the eight stools. That's great. Uh, do you remember a ballpark idea what you paid for it? It was approximately $1,100. Okay, okay, great. And I know you'd already talked a little bit about pricing with uh, the representative when you sent the pictures in, so yes. that looks great. Everything's in good condition. And then uh, we got the sofa here. Everything looks great. Um, any idea what retail was on this or what you paid for it? My wife uh, ordered it from Scan Furniture, uh, and it came from Italy, and I think it was about $2,200. Okay, perfect. That definitely helps us price things. Okay. Well, everything looks great. Um, what we'll do, we'll just do some quick paperwork here, and then we'll set you up for 10 o'clock tomorrow. Guys will be here, pick everything up, and that's it. We That'll try to make great. it as easy as possible. Thank you.
One minute, it's taking up space in somebody's garage. The next minute, it's on your showroom ready to be sold and somebody else to be able to enjoy. Right, now you've kind of seen the whole process. So it's been brought in, it's been cleaned, and now it's here ready to sell and probably won't be here very long. I'm sure we'll sell it within this month and the gentleman we got it from will get a check in the mail next month. So that's Re simple. Really popular, these tables. And, and I love the fact that you have really quality furniture, fair prices here. I'm sure right now that there are a lot of people that have furniture that they've been thinking about selling, didn't know what to do with that are going, okay, tell me how I can consign my furniture to. We make it so easy as you've seen. So just give us a call at 824-0222 or you can get us on the website at uh, consignedfurniturenow.com and we'll do the same thing for you. We'll get, get your furniture in and get it sold for you. And no strangers come into your house, make it as safe and easy as possible for you. And the showroom located in the Sierra Center shopping plaza. Right, right next to Target at 6865 Sierra Center Parkway. That's Allen Rock Consigned Furniture. Thanks again so much for allowing us to Thank share you, you with our community. Appreciate it. Thank you. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles.